This is not a toy. This is your costume. You're a pumpkin spice latte. What's up guys, it's McKenna and Kinsley and we want to wish you a very happy Halloween or almost Halloween because it's like two and a half weeks away or something like that. We're gonna be doing something super special today. We are going to be making Halloween costumes for Kinsley, for doggies. So if you guys have a small dog, big dog, any dog in between, or a cat, you can DIY these costumes just for them to fit their size, but I'm gonna be giving you tips on how to make them her size. So if you have a small dog just like her, you'll be able to recreate these easy peasy and they'll be super cute and super special. This is Kinsley's very first Halloween, so we had to make it special, oh, of course. Okay, are you excited? I have some super fun Halloween DIY videos coming up, so definitely hit the subscribe button below and hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you know right when I upload my next video, we're doing some Halloween desserts and some Halloween home decor on a budget, so it's going to be super fun, so definitely hit the subscribe button below and let's get started. The first project that we're going to be working on is a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. So what you're going to need for this project is a piece of white felt and white jersey knit for the body of your puppy costume, a Starbucks logo, corrugated paper that looks like a coffee cup sleeve, black and caramel color paint, a green straw from Starbucks, some cinnamon, some white cotton to look like whipped cream, spray adhesive, some sparkly elastic, and a hot glue gun. So we're gonna first start off by making our headpiece for the pumpkin spice latte costume. So what we're gonna need to make is kind of like a headband as you would for a human costume. So we're gonna start off by sketching a rectangle that's one and a half inches by four to five inches depending on how large your dog's head is. Weird thing to say. But enough room to sew it together and enough room to slide some boning inside to make it more structured so it stays on their head. So just fold over the ends and match it together and then sew right along that edge so your finished piece will end up being about three quarters of an inch wide, enough room to just slide some boning right inside. Next you're going to take some sparkly elastic and cut it to size, measure your dog's head to make it snug but not choke them and not be too tight. And then slide one end of the elastic inside the felt envelope that you just made and stitch it a couple of times so it stays attached. Next you're going to slide some boning inside and I'm using a metal boning so that you can just shape it like a headband shape. And then slide the other piece of elastic, the other end of the elastic, inside the other end and stitch it closed. Now you have your headpiece. Next you're going to need a needle and some white thread and just tie a knot at the end and we are going to start on our whipped cream. So taking some fluffy cotton, you're just going to tack it down to the headpiece and just kind of shaping it like whipped cream. If if that makes sense. And so once you're done with that, you're going to sew on your green straw. And we're gonna sew it on before we cut the straw to size. So using a needle and some white thread, just puncture a hole through the straw and then start sewing it in place wherever you want the straw to be. I wanted it a little off to the side um, so it kind of sits off to the side of our head. And so just hold it in place and then sew through the felt on the headband so that it secures it and just sew as many times as you need to in order to keep that straw straight up. Then you could use some scissors and cut the straw to size, whatever length you want it. Next, we're gonna start on the caramel drizzle. So using some caramel colored acrylic paint, you're literally just going to squirt it out of the tube directly onto the cotton whipped cream. And just kind of with a back and forth motion, just make sure you're kind of making it look like some caramel drizzle. And do this as many times as you want. And then using some spray adhesive, just kind of lightly spritz the white cotton whipped cream with some adhesive. And then using some cinnamon, kind of shake some out. And this will add some great realistic texture uh, to the headpiece. After that, our headpiece is all done. And then you can set it aside to dry. 
Next, we're gonna get started on our coffee cup sleeve. So you're using your corrugated paper and you're just going to draw out a 12 inch wide, which is the same size as the paper, by five inches tall. So this really depends on how big your dog is. So just sketch that out of however size you want it and cut it out. Next, we're going to be using some spray adhesive and lightly spritzing the back of our Starbucks logo and then adhering it right in the middle of the corrugated paper. Next, we're going to be adding some detailing to the coffee sleeve itself. So on the side of a Starbucks cup, you can see that they have boxes to customize what drink you're ordering. And then on the other side, it has caution very hot. Of course, I did caution very cute because that's just cuter. Then using your white felt and jersey knit, you're going to make the body of the coffee cup and just use a sweater that you already have for your dog and use that as a template to sew it together. Next, we're going to be making our ice cream cone costume. So what you're gonna need for this one is a existing white dog shirt, cause it's easier that way. Some colorful tool for making your ice cream balls, a foam ball, some waffle textured paper, some thick colored cardstock, some acrylic paint to match that cardstock along with a color for your waffle cone, colorful pieces of felt to make some sprinkles, sparkly elastic, and a hot glue gun. So the same as before, we're gonna start off by making our headpiece and we're going to use the same white felt and measuring out a rectangle, then cutting it out, fold it over, matching the edges together, and then stitching down close to the edge all along that one side. Next, we're going to add in the elastic, just like before, just stitching one side into the envelope of the felt. And then don't hurt yourself like I just did with this metal boning. And just slide the boning inside, then close off the other side of the elastic by um, sticking it right inside the envelope and stitching it closed. Next, using the colored cardstock, we are going to be creating the melted ice cream look for our headband. So taking that large foam ball, kind of shave it down to make it look like a melted ice cream, but it's still a ball. And then place that right on top of your colored paper and then just kind of draw out a squiggly melted pool of ice cream. And then cut that out of the cardboard And that shaved foam ball is going to be sitting right on top of that melted look. Next, we're going to be using acrylic paint to paint the foam ball the exact same color or close to it as our cardstock, and then just paint the ball and set it aside to dry. Next, we're going to be making our waffle cone. So the key to making any kind of cone shape is make the base of the cone three times the size that you want the cone to be and I hope that makes sense. Draw out the size of the cone that you want and then cut it out leaving some room to glue it together on the edge and then on the bottom it helps to glue it to the ball if you kind of make this slash design um, so it has something to stick on to. Then add some spray adhesive and just glue it shut. Using the beigey brown acrylic paint you're going to paint your waffle cone and set it aside to dry. After all of our painted pieces are dry, we're going to assemble our headpiece. So starting with the melted cardstock, we're gonna be hot gluing that directly onto our headpiece band. And so just putting a little bit of hot glue right in the center of the paper and then holding onto it, don't burn yourself, holding onto the headband until it dries. Next, we're going to be hot gluing the cone to the first ice cream ball. So just putting some hot glue all around those little tabs that you created on the bottom of the cone and then holding it directly onto a little off center, I would say, and holding it until it's dry. Next, you're going to hot glue the ice cream ball directly onto the melted cardstock. And the final step to finishing our headpiece is to make some felt sprinkles. So using your different colored felt pieces, you're just going to cut some small rectangular pieces that look 
little bit like sprinkles and then hot gluing them directly onto the melted cardstock as well as the ball of the ice cream and that completes our headpiece. Now we're gonna get started on the body of our ice cream costume. So you're going to be using your colorful tool and your white dog shirt, and you're gonna be using your sewing machine for this. So the key to making tool look voluminous and fluffy is to make a gathered seam, which I'm gonna show you how to do in just a second. So once you've gathered up the edge of the tool, you're going to pin it down directly onto the dog shirt to kind of evenly space your gathers and then stitch it on. To stitch the tool to the dog shirt itself, you can either use your sewing machine or you can do it by hand. Either way works. I'm gonna do a combination of both in this video. Once you have the gathered edge all stitched down, we're going to be kind of making a bubble with a tool to kind of look like a ice cream scoop. So you're going to kind of fold that over, make kind of a gathered kind of round shape and see how long you're going to need it. And then we're gonna be adding in another gathered stitch. So here's how you do it. You're gonna set your stitch length to the largest stitch. On my machine, that's number four. And then you're gonna stitch a straight line down the tool from edge to edge. Once you reach the edge, don't back stitch and close the stitch off. What you're gonna do is take one of the strands of thread and pull, and that creates this gathered look. And you just have to pay attention to making sure that your gathers are evenly spaced and you gather enough to cover the entire width of your dog costume. Once you have it gathered, you can cut off any excess right below that stitch line and then we're going to hand tack and hand sew the gathers onto the body of the dog costume. So just using a needle and some white thread or colored thread to match your tool, whichever you like, you're going to turn that gathered edge under so that it's hidden and you're just going to stitch it all the way across. Once you have the bottom edge stitched down, you can go back and stitch the sides down as well so that you don't leave any open parts. You're gonna do this same method two more times with your second and third ice cream scoop with the different colors using the hand stitching method because it's easiest now that we already have a scoop on there. It's gonna be hard to get it through your machine, um, but just stitch it down on the top, bottom, and sides, and then you're done. Now to add in the final touches, we're going to be hot gluing on some sprinkles and just kind of randomly putting all of your colors, as many sprinkles as you like, as least sprinkles as you like, so have fun with it. And this is our final step and our ice cream cone doggy costume is complete. So the next costume that we're going to make is the unicorn costume. And what you're gonna need for this one is a pre-made white dog shirt, some holographic material, some white tulle, some colorful yarn, some white cotton stuffing, a small piece of white felt, some thick metallic gold cord, sparkly elastic, and a hot glue gun. So first we're gonna start off by making our unicorn horn. So using your holographic material, we are going to start off by drawing the shape of our horn on the back of the material. When finished, I wanted my unicorn to measure five inches tall by one and three quarters inch in diameter. So I started by drawing that out directly onto the back of the material, leaving an inch on the bottom for sewing it to the headband. And then I'm gonna go back and add a quarter inch to each side of the triangle for some seam allowance to sew it together. Next, we're going to cut out our triangle out of the fabric and then start to sew together the side seams only. So you're not gonna sew the bottom shut just yet. You're just gonna sew right along that edge about a quarter of an inch from the edge itself. 
and backstitch at the bottom and then sew all the way up to the tip. Once you've sewn it down, you're just going right above the seam to cut the tip off of your fabric so that it doesn't add excess bulk. And then we're going to turn the fabric inside out and you're going to use a sharp tool like a pencil, um, nothing too sharp that you're gonna puncture it. Then at the tip, you can use a push pin and just kind of pull out the point. Next, we're going to start stuffing our unicorn with some cotton stuffing. So you're just gonna shred apart different pieces and kind of shove it up into the point and fill it out as much as you like. Um, I wanted mine pretty full. Once you're done adding in the stuffing, you're gonna use a needle and thread and close up the bottom. Next, we're gonna add some gold detailing to the unicorn. So I have this thick gold metallic thread and I'm just gonna thread it through a thicker needle and sew it at the bottom as an anchor and knot it a little bit so that it stays in place. And then I'm going to take it and just kind of spiral it up the entire unicorn all the way to the tip and then anchor it at the top as well. And then I'm gonna use some glue just to make sure that all of these little strands stay perfectly even spaced. And you can use as much as you like of this gold metallic. Next, we're going to be making our ears out of white felt. So I wanted my ears to be about an inch and a half tall and about an inch and a half wide as well. So I just kind of drew out a shape that I liked and then cut it out. And right in the middle, I wanna add some of that same holographic material. So I'm just gonna use some spray adhesive and make a smaller little ear triangle and put it in. Now that our unicorn horn and ears are complete, we're going to use a needle and thread and sew them right directly onto the headband itself and making sure that they're standing upright. So I'm just going to put some thread right into the headband as an anchor and then sew as many times as I can to make sure that they're gonna stand straight up. A trick to make the ear stand up is to sew directly onto the edge of the ear and the headband. And now our unicorn headband is complete. Now we're gonna get started on the body of our unicorn costume and particularly our mane. So we're going to be using this white simple yarn and you're going to measure out 21 strands that each measure 30 inches in length. So they're gonna be looped when you're measuring them out. So just cut all of those and then separate them into three even spaces cause we're gonna do a braid. So that means seven pieces each and then you're just gonna braid all the way down to the bottom, leaving about four to five inches at the bottom when you close it off. Next, we're going to be using a brush technique in order to make the yarn look like hair. So using a pet brush, literally, for this dog costume, you're just going to brush out and hold the yarn in place so that you don't pull all of the strands out, but you're just gonna brush it out like you would your dog's hair and then take a straightening iron on the lowest setting and flat iron it out so that it starts to look like hair. Then go over it one more time and just brush out as much as you like to get the look that you want. Now we're gonna start using the colorful yarn to add some layers to our mane. So using the first color that you want at the bottom, which mine is purple, and measuring out 14 inches and about 20 strands each, you're just going to tie a knot in the middle and then cut the loops on each side. And we're gonna be using that same brush technique on each of these little smaller layers for the mane. So holding it in the middle, you're just going to brush it out with your pet brush and then using your flat iron to smooth it out and then brushing it out one more time before adding it to our mane. Using the braid as a guide, we're just gonna go up to the next little crook in the braid and tie our purple on. You're gonna continue to do the same technique, layering in one color after another and one strand after another until your braid is completely full. The colors that I chose were purple to light purple to pink and then to white. So I'm just gonna continue to do this until my mane is complete. Once your mane is complete, we're going to tie the mane directly to the headband and then simply adding some Velcro to the bottom of the braid and adhering it to the dog shirt. And it's complete. We did it! So if 
if you guys like these. No, keep it on, it's cute. She is not having it with these costumes. So if you guys like these DIY costumes and want to make them for your own little puppet at home, definitely hit the like button below and definitely hit the subscribe button below because you're not going to want to miss my upcoming Halloween videos all on how to do some more really fun Halloween DIYs. So we will see you next week. Bye guys. So let's get started before she completely falls asleep. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy girl? This is not for eating. This is for being cute. Because you look so cute. Hi, YouTube.